In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy S22 to your TV without Wi-Fi. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I'm gonna to be walking you through how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy S22 to your TV, to any TV basically, without using Wi-Fi. Um, this is super easy to do this. All you're gonna need is one, an HD TV with an HDMI connection, and two, I'm gonna show you one of two cables you can get to make this work. Now, I want you to make sure you stay tuned to the very end of the video. I'm gonna show you two methods to do this. Um, and the second method is pretty cool and a lot of people don't know about it. So make sure you watch both methods and then decide which one is best for you. Once again, I wanna reiterate, you don't need Wi-Fi to do this. You just need to purchase a cable and after that, you'll be good to go. Okay, so let's jump right in. So the first thing you'll need is to get either an HDMI cable, and HDMI cables um, have this on the end, so that's what the end look like. It'll have this on both ends, HDMI cable, and you'll need to purchase this adapter. This is an, a female HDMI to a Type-C connector. All we're gonna do to make this work is I'm gonna connect the adapter to my regular HDMI cable just like that. Next, you'll need to connect the HDMI to the back of your TV, just like that. And then we're gonna take this end and we're gonna plug it into our phone. Now, before I plug it in, I just wanna show you my TV so you can see how fast this works, how easy it works. It's awesome. It's the best thing to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and Let's plug in. Now that our HDMI is connected to the TV and our adap adapter is connected, we're gonna plug right into the phone. Now, earlier I mentioned you'll need one of two cables. So in the first method, I'm showing you with a regular HDMI cable and an adapter. With, um, you can also just purchase one cable that has HDMI on one end and Type-C on the other. And of course, I'll have all those links below in the description. All right, so you can see my TV on the screen. My phone is now mirrored. And um, basically, at this point, we're good. Anything I do on the phone is gonna show up on the TV. I can play movies as well if I wanted to go to YouTube. I can start playing this video right here. I can uh, skip this ad as well, because obviously, gotta get an ad. So let's skip that. I can rotate the phone sideways and that's how you'll get it to work in the portrait position. And there we go. Obviously, when you do this for the first time, you have all these extra pop-ups, but basically now my video can play on the TV and you're good to go. All right. You'll control the volume using your phone, volume up and down, right? One thing to, to be careful of is making sure your cable is connected. Um, and one thing you'll notice here, it just lost the connection. So um, as I'm moving the phone, I keep tapping the connector and that's making it disconnect. So just make sure that your phone is connected and try not to hit the adapter there because that will make it lose connection. So that's one thing I wanted to point out. The next thing I wanna point out is that some of you, when you connect it for the first time, you're gonna get this pop-up. Let me just turn it on so you can see what it looks like. You'll get this pop-up on your TV. It's called Samsung Dex, which is another thing you'll be able to do once you have this connected. You can actually use your phone as a computer. You can plug it into your TV. You can then sync it with a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, and you can basically turn your phone into a computer. Um, I'm mainly showing you this because if you get this pop-up, all you have to do to make this go away is swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, swipe to your left, and then turn off DEX. Once you tap that, it will turn off that feature, and then you'll just see your phone screen on the TV just like that, all right? So this was the first method 
Let's move in now to the second method, which I think a lot of you are going to be a little bit more excited about. So the reason I'm showing this second method is there is a flaw in the first method, which is when you connect a display, connect your phone to a display, um, your phone is going to begin to drain. The battery is going to go down a lot faster because of this connection. And guess what? Because you're using the one port on the phone at the bottom here to connect it, there's no way to charge your phone while um, the connection is in. But in this second method, I'm gonna be using this cool adapter from a company called Ace Fast. So this is the adapter here. I'm gonna uh, turn off the mirror just for a few minutes. Okay, so this is the Ace Fast power adapter that's gonna allow you to connect a your phone to a charger while it's being mirrored to the TV, okay? Obviously, we'll have a link below in the description for this. Um, and the other cool part about this is you don't need to purchase this adapter to make this work. This little adapter will actually work with a standard HDMI cable. So, let me show you how this works. The, the setting up is a little different, but it's still quick and you're gonna love it even better. To make this work, you're gonna use your standard HDMI cable and you're gonna plug it into the bottom of the adapter. And then you'll also need um, a special Type-C to Type-C cable that will support video transfer. Obviously, I'll have links below in the description of where you can purchase one of these. They're really inexpensive. You're gonna plug this in to the other end of the charger, just like that. And now we're gonna plug this into the wall, just a standard wall outlet. It should work with any one. And now I'm gonna take the other end and plug it into the bottom of the phone. Okay, so it is connected to the phone and give it a few seconds and there we go. So now our phone screen is mirrored to the TV and guess what? Our phone is also charging as well. So if your goal was to mirror your screen to the TV because you wanted to play a video, guess what? Now your phone is gonna be charging while it is mirrored to the TV. So that means you can play videos for a lot longer. You can also use this for gaming as well, which is awesome. If there's a, a mobile game that you love, you'll definitely wanna get this because you're, you're gonna be able to play for as long as you want while the screen is mirrored to the TV. So when you're done, simply disconnect and that's it. So a couple of important things to note about using that adapter. So one, it will not work with your the charging cable that came with your phone. Very important to note that. You will need to purchase that special uh, Type-C to Type-C display cable that will actually send um, video. If you don't get that cable, this isn't gonna work for you. The second thing is this. This little adapter will output up to 4K. So if you have an amazing TV at home, guess what? This is gonna be able to output the full quality from your phone, all right? So hope you guys found this helpful. Um, a lot of people ask about how to mirror their phone to their TV without Wi-Fi, and guess what? This is how you do it, and this is gonna be supported on all the Samsung S22 models, S21 models, S20 models, this will work for all of those options. So that's one of the best parts about it. And um, you don't have to worry about having Wi-Fi. You can bring this to anyone's house, plug it up, and use your phone to display your video content on the TV. Once again, hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. I will have links again to all these products in the description so you can see what they cost and um, decide if you wanna buy one. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.